The convention hall will come to order. We're now holding the first general session of the 90th National FFA Convention and Expo. <laughs> Madam Vice President, are all officers at their stations? I shall call the roll of officers, determine if they're at their stations, and report back to you, Mr. President. <laughs> the Sentinel. Stationed by the door. Your duty's there. Through this door pass many friends of the FFA. It is my duty to see that the door is open to our friends at all times and that they are welcome. I care for the meeting room and paraphernalia. I strive to keep the room comfortable and assist the president in maintaining order. The reporter. The reporter is stationed by the flag. Why by the flag? As the flag covers the United States of America, so I strive to inform the people in order that every man, woman, and child may know that the FFA is a national organization that reaches from the state of Alaska to the Virgin Islands and from the state of Maine to Hawaii. The treasure. Stationed at the emblem of Washington. Your duties there. I keep a record of receipts and disbursements. Just as Washington kept his farm account, carefully and accurately. I encourage thrift among the members and strive to build up our financial standing through savings and investments. George Washington was better able to serve his country because he was financially independent. The secretary, stationed by the ear of corn, your duty's there. I keep an accurate record of all meetings and correspond with other secretaries, wherever corn is grown and FFA members meet. The advisor. Here by the owl. Why stationed by the owl? The owl is a time-honored emblem of knowledge and wisdom. Being older than the rest of you, I'm asked to advise you from time to time as the need arises. I hope that my advice will always be based on true knowledge and ripened with wisdom. Madam Vice President, why do you keep a plow at your station? The plow is the symbol of labor and tillage of the soil. Without labor, neither knowledge nor wisdom can accomplish much. My duties require me to assist at all times in directing the work of our organization. I preside I preside over meetings in the absence of our president, whose place is beneath the rising sun. Why is the president so stationed? The rising sun is the token of a new era in agriculture. If we will follow the leadership of our president, we shall be led out of the darkness of selfishness and into the glorious sunlight of brotherhood and cooperation. <laughs> Mr. President, <laughs> all officers are at their stations. Thank you, Madam Vice President. The Secretary will call the roll of members. I am pleased to announce that at this, the first general session of the 90th National FFA Convention and Expo, there are 59,132 members and guests registered, Mr. President. <laughs> Thank you. FFA members, why are we here? <laughs> to practice brotherhood, honor agricultural opportunities and responsibilities, and develop those qualities of leadership which an FFA member should possess. <laughs> May we accomplish our purposes. I now declare this first general session of the 90th National FFA Convention and Expo duly open for the transaction of business or attention to any matters which may properly be presented.